We're asking on the sign. Okay. Uh, Ten dollars. Ten bucks. You take eight, I'll give you eight bucks for it. As author Anthony Brandt has said, other things may change us, but we start and end with family. I've been picking the Commonwealth for 20 years, searching high and low at yard sales, thrift stores, antique malls, garages, and sometimes even barns for treasures I can pass on to new homes through eBay. But now as I watch my little ones growing up before my eyes, I find that my real treasures are right here with me every day. So join us as we pick, flip, and resell on our two eBay stores and in our three antique booths. Morning, morning. 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 How you doing, Kevin? Not much, not much. All right, we'll settle up before we leave. I don't see anything standing way out to me so far. Are you? Nothing too good, huh? Crispy, crunchy chicken. You're asking on your little plush dolls. Hmm? What are you asking on your little They're plush dollar dolls? Each. Dollar each, okay. I came across these Gettysburg magazines. I have sold tons of these. I've probably sold a hundred of them. But I passed them up here. I can't remember why. It must have been the price. Had to be the price because the condition looked okay. Hmm? Good morning. Good morning. Pig, How you it? doing? Yeah, good. Peppa Pig. It's Pretty just, good. I taped it because it's got a bunch of different little pieces in it. So. <laughs> I figured that was easier. Oh, I turned, they turned it the wrong way. That's how I Sorry. All right. Do you have change? Yes, sir, I do. Okay. Well, actually, I have a five, so that's not too much change. Do you need a bag? I think I have uh, a bag. I have a bag right here. Do you have a bag? Believe it or not. <laughs> for once in my life. Two dollars for the rock. Uh, I probably should get that too, but. Uh, I was sure what the heck. It's heavy. No change, right? Okay. We'll make it easy. <laughs> Oh, that's all right. Thank okay. you. Um, here, you a box okay. Because it's not lamp. I don't want you to break. All right. Um, you want to go look around and just have it here? Uh, sure. Time? That's very kind of you. <laughs> I like that. Okay. I like that. 15. Yes, it's a medium. I thought it did. Okay. Well, thank you. I'll be back in a minute. I'm not seeing too much, though. <laughs> I like that. I like that, too. <laughs> got a bunch of dinosaurs there, huh? Yeah, I got them from a great wreck. Nice. <sighs> Uh-huh. Man, I ain't seen much today, Kevin. Yeah, I don't think it's no wrong. We asking on this. My great grand five too. Okay, yeah. Okay. We asking on the sign. Okay. Thank you. Uh, ten dollars. Ten bucks. You take eight, I'll give you eight bucks for it. <laughs> it's a porcelain sign, it's worth ten bucks. <laughs> I didn't say it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'll buy it. I'll buy it. It's a 20. All right, I'll get you a 10. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> I will. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Well, Check out, I make feel sure bad you're right. giving away your good change there. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Would you mind if I set it back sure. there? Just because it's a big one, I don't want to carry it around. What are your books selling? What do you got on your books? Uh, 50 cents a piece. Okay. Thank you. 
You know how much stuff priced you? Yeah, he said 50 cents, I believe. Oh, okay. For one more magazine, but I guess they don't have it. Mm. We're all buying these. One, two, three bucks. I'm gonna give you three more bucks at 50 cents a piece. Yep. Would you mind putting that back there yeah, since sure. I'm storing one? I'm sorry. That's fine. Now I just gotta remember to pick it up. Which you'd think would be easy, but not for me. Yeah, that's your patch. Oh, it says five on it. Yes. But I have a ten for yes. you. Okay. What's this here? Padding from there. Ten dollars, huh? Coles cares. That's a neat one. I like that one. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Garfield. Have you hugged your boss today? I don't know. Can you get it? Can you do that anymore? Can you hug? It says. It says, have you hugged your boss today? I don't know if you can do that anymore. That's all your boss is. <laughs> my, wife, my wife is my boss. There you go. All I right. Think you can, I think you can hug her. <laughs> she might be surprised if you do, but you know, you never know. I want to talk to you, Ashtray. Interesting. Yeah, I'm over here. <laughs> I think Marie overslept this morning. Yeah. 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 Ye
ten of pink. Ten of pink. Uh, what's that? This, the, the little red set. Oh, that's the little thing. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's sorry. You know what? And these are you said ten of pink. Where's the nearest ATM? Uh, no <laughs> um, anywhere around here. Anyway. I just don't know where I'm at. Okay, sure. So if you go back off this road, just keep it straight. Okay. Until the end, there is a dollar yeah. channel right there. Cool. Or so a uh, PP station. Yeah. Well, please don't stop. I, I promise I got will you. be back. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> How much on these guys right here? Uh, hey. And the ashtray. How much for these? The Garfield? I don't know either. I just Dollar. lost it. Dollar. Dollar. There you go. Ashtray. Ashtray. There you go. All right. <laughs> You're talking my language. I got I'll take that one. And this one. Take that one. No, I have a bet. Well, nah, it's all right. I'll throw them in there. They'll survive, I'm sure. <laughs> Happy mouth toothbrush for the man who has trouble getting up in the morning. Oh, my goodness gracious. I don't know how much they want for that. I shouldn't buy it, but what the heck. Alright, so that's three bucks. Yes, sir. One. Alright, I have a five. That's okay. Go, thank you. You have a good day. Do you want me to throw them in here for you? Sure, that would be awesome. You know what? I'm gonna grab that for a buck too. Okay, awesome. Assuming it's a buck. That's fine with me. I'm just assuming it is. There you go. Thank you. Alright. Would you mind putting it in there for yeah, me? Sure. I appreciate it. There you go. You have a great day. You too. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm gonna come with All right, let's go settle out there then. I don't know that I'm gonna find much more. That one lady back in here, the perfumes, you see it back Yeah, here? I've bought from them before. I didn't really They're see awesome, that. but. I didn't see that from them. Right. All right, let's go settle up. I'm gonna sneak behind you here and get this sign. Sure, sure. Thank you. Yes, sir. You know, this was the. Mount Plushmore sale. I was kind of hoping they'd be in there again. No. Hey, y'all, give me a thumbs up if you remember the Mount Plushmore sale. <laughs> yeah. So all this right. is all. Uh, so this was um. This was that nice lady. Oh, uh, this is the one with the. That's the one with the, <laughs> the squishy. That's hilarious. And then that inside of there, um, Christmas ornament. Mm-hmm. And she had a bunch of these, and she just you know. Just went upstairs and found them actually. That is awesome. You are the man. And then I found all these. So what do I owe you? I can't I, remember. I was, I was just thinking 25. 25 me. bucks. Yeah. I mean. Sounds like more than a plan to me. Because <laughs> I know you like dealing with them tapes. So you can yeah. Well, them. I don't know if I say I like it, but <laughs> it's one of those things that's a problem with me. You know, it's like Tupperware. It's an addiction. Well, yeah, I got the same problem. If I find something in there worth a gold mine, I'll buy you dinner. <laughs> I don't know. There was blondie in there, I think. There's a couple, yeah. Yeah, a couple in there. So okay, I have a blondie one too. Three. Oh heck. There's a five. Yeah. Somewhere in there. Five would be good. You sure you have an Inman, don't you? Yeah, I got an Inman. I, I mean, say I bought you, one. You I better bought, have one. I, I got. But you know, I said, well, I see nothing else. It's been a nice little. There you go. Y'all can thank Kevin because you're gonna be get a chance to buy some Inman. <laughs> I know I ran out a while back, but. Yeah, those are those are. I carry this over here. Oh, for you were nice. Well, I see one other one I'm going to go to and I'm headed home. Captain Underpants. Some underwear. Two dollars. 
I'm buying it. <laughs> Hello. Hi, now, is this different than that up there? Yes. Okay, because like I got this from y'all, so I, I won't mix it together here. It's four of us. Oh, four of you. All right, well, I got to pay the right people then. Huh? <laughs> yeah. How are you this morning? I'm doing pretty good. How about yourself? I'm doing all right. Oh, good. What you got in there? Anything I just have to have? Sure, everything. <laughs> <laughs> you got some shoes there. <laughs> you can have them. I ain't messing with I might just do that, and you know, I don't like shoes, but those don't look bad, huh? How much are you asking on your shoes? <laughs> That's hard to resist. That's not terrific. I'll grab these. Is, is, that, is that right? $10? Is that what you're asking on that? What I got on? You got uh, he don't know how to do that. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, hey, for these shoes. Thank you, dear. I appreciate it. Yeah, they, they expensive. Yeah. You, get ready, you get ready to go? In a minute, I gotta pay these people for these underwear. <laughs> I won't leave. I won't leave. <laughs> uh, I never have Matt's luck. For sure. Got some weights there. Three bucks. All right, so y'all yell at me at these garage sales for low balling and not picking up what you want me to buy. So before you do that, make sure you hit that thumbs up, give it a like, and do all that, and then you can yell at me. Subscribe too. All right. Elvis Presley. Liquid blue. Four dollars. It's new. And it is double stitch. Alright. Who do I owe for these underwear here? The lady with the hat. Okay. <laughs> Alright. It says two bucks on them, I think. Oh, look at that. Red Cardinal Treasure. You need a bag? Uh, no, I don't think okay. so. Thank you, though. What I need is my money to not be a mess today. There you go. All righty. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Okay, you got it. the shoes, too. I got the shoes from over there. Yeah, yeah. it's not bad. Awesome. Thank you. you. Have a lovely day. You too. So much. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining us out there on the garage sale trail. This is filmed. It is no It's the middle of November, and garage sale season is ending. But you're going to see this at some point. I don't know when. I'll probably save it. I might not. I might put it out. It's not an amazing garage sale day, but I just had to go to this one because it was a year ago today that we did the Mount Plushmore sale that we just made like two grand on a bunch of plush, vintage plush. And it was at this location and I'm like, you know, I've got to go to this thing. I know I wasn't going to strike it rich again at that one particular sale, but I just had to go to it to see what was there. And we did okay, I suppose. But I just wanted to go to it for old time's sake. By the way, if you haven't seen the Mount Plushmore sale, I will try to remember to link it in this video. I think it's the one that has the My Pet Monster in the thumbnail. That was an amazing sale. One of the best I had been to last year, so I was pretty happy about it. But Kevin made it worth my while. Bizarro Kevin out there made it worth my while because he had picked up some things at a sale for me earlier, and he was gracious enough to sell them to me. He made a little bit of money but not very much, and we'll make a little bit of money off of that stuff as well. So let's take a look at some of this stuff and see how we did. So here's the deal. I'm going to look at the stuff Kevin gave us first. He charges us 25 bucks. Now, keep in mind, he made a little bit of money on the deal. So he didn't pay very much for these at all, but it was really kind of him to do that. So here's the Inna Man that he found at his sale. And I mean, just right here, there's like eight in it. One, two, three, four, four. There's eight Inna Man right there. So four of them will pay for the 25 bucks. Okay, that'll give us $25 in profit, so we're already making money before we get to, I think this was in the deal. These actually sell, by the way, on eBay. New ones sell for like $12. bucks. i am going to put it in my booth for a couple bucks. 
all these eight tracks. Now, none of them are amazing, at least not that I see. I haven't gone through all of them. But there are some good ones right there. That's probably a $10 eight track, Elton John, Willie Nelson, you know. I don't know. There's probably, just looking at them. Oh, let's see here. These aren't particularly great. Here's a couple Johnny Cash. And you put them together, you might make five, six bucks profit. Um, this one will probably make five to six dollars profit. This one might make a little bit of money. I might take out, see if I can find a few. I saw an Ario Speedwagon here. I see one over here. I don't look like any of these are great. I've got to look a little closer. Bee Gees, maybe. John Denver. So I could probably make a few lots out of there. Maybe two or three ten dollar eight tracks, which means you're making five dollars profit. So nothing amazing. Blondie, that's probably close to a $10 one, which means you're making $5 profit. Ario Speedwagon, put it with the other Ario Speedwagon. Heart, that actually is in pretty good shape. It's got a little dirt on it, but not bad. Freddy Fender, not too great. The Guess Who might be a little bit of something. Let's see, Bread, Super Tramp, Steve Miller, Fleetwood Mac, Bob Seger. These are in bad shape over here. So, you know, there's probably six or seven that I'm going to make... 10 i'm gonna i'm gonna sell for ten dollars if it's not worth 10 bucks i'm not selling it we'll make like 30 bucks on those put the rest in lots or put them in the antique booth for a buck i'd say out of the eight tracks we'll make a 50 dollars profit only listing maybe six or seven listings and then the rest are going to get into that antique booth now this is cool because this will clean up really nice and i'll put this in my antique booth they sell on ebay as well but i'm going to put it in my antique booth and i'll display eight tracks that i'm selling for like a buck or two a piece and then I'll put 10 to $15 on this as well. So we're not making a ton of money on this stuff, but we'll end up making over $100 on that little deal that Kevin gave us. So thank you. We appreciate that. Here's a buy from the first sale. This was an easy pickup. It's brand new sealed. I think it's between $35 and $55 for that set. Pick these up really cheap, quarter a piece. Unfortunately, there's not five in a set. There's five in this set, the Civil War uh, Naval Chronology, plus they're not in great condition. I'll still put them together in a lot, and so we paid, what, a buck for them? And they'll sell for maybe 20 total. A couple other books we'll either put in the booth or make three or four bucks, five bucks on eBay. Like I said, nothing amazing. This salt lamp, I've actually sold these in my booth, and they sell. They also sell on eBay, but they're tough sellers, especially without a box. But for two bucks, I'm like, yeah, I'll make I'll make eight or nine profit on it in the booth. These shoes are in great condition. Picked them up for a dollar. They're probably minimum, I'd say minimum 15 in the condition they're in. They look like they were barely worn. Just got a little bit of dirt I got to clean up. So that's $12 profit right there, I'd say. Uh, maybe more, maybe 20 plus shipping. They really are great shape. I just pick up Garfield stuff whenever I see it. If it's cheap, and these were really cheap, and it sells. I mean, almost everything Garfield eventually sells for me. I just had to pick this up because it was hilarious. Just had to pick it up. So, who the heck knows? I'll put it in my booth. It'll sell for something. Peppa Pig. These, you, I don't know what they go for now, but these were easy $20 plus shipping if you had figures with them. Easy in the past. Maybe more now, maybe less. I'm not quite sure. But for two bucks, it, it'll take, my wife likes to do this stuff. Reagan will take pictures of it. Put it in the kids' store for them. They'll enjoy it. And they'll make 12 to, it depends on what it sells for, 12 to $17 plus shipping. Or 12 to $17 profit on something like this. The Harley sign was cool. Can't remember what I paid. What did I pay? Did I pay 10 bucks? Five bucks? I think I paid 10 for it. I probably am going to, I might keep it. I might put it up in here. I don't know. I might hang it up. I don't, I'm not really a Harley guy, but I might keep it because it's cool. Gives a little bit of flair. I sell a ton of Harley stuff. I don't know. We'll see. I'd say it's probably a $50 lister plus shipping. Wait till there's none out there but mine and it'll sell. Maybe if you want to sell it quick and make a quick $25 profit, you can reduce it a little bit. So I don't know. That's what it is. Nothing amazing. Hey, the underwear, two bucks. These will sell. Um, I guess $15 plus shipping, maybe a little bit more. So even on a poor day, we're still doing okay, especially for late November when there's not much out there. Oh, I forgot. I just had to pick up an ashtray. What do you know? I'm picking up ashtrays. I have no idea what that'll go for. Nortaki plastic ashtray. Probably nothing, but I had to pick it up. I just want to say thanks again. We appreciate you coming by and dropping by and supporting our channel. We really, really do appreciate it. And we can't wait to see you next time. Mm -hmm.